Oh, fancy seeing you here in my breeding area. As you can see, we've got a bunch of snow owls behind me. I have been doing a lot of grinding out for these mutations, and let me show you the progress so far. So for melee, we have 10 stacked mutations, and that's that one over there. I probably actually have maybe an 11th one inside of the thing. I gotta check that. Right in here, though, we have our best stack for stamina is 12 so far, and then health is 11, so... 10, 11 for health, and then 12 for stam. Pretty good, actually. Uh, let me just quickly check these. We're looking for a 322, right? Yeah, nothing there. None of those ones are mutated. That means that we get rid of them all. Uh, I, I keep kind of like coming back here and, and showing like little updates and stuff along the way. Eventually, I will combine these and we're gonna make the ultimate night owl. And I promised you guys that we would go for custom colors for this thing. I want to, instead of just Seeing what I get, I want to aim for specific colors. So I'm going to do the whole color thing after. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a the unmutated male into here and just breed and breed and breed until we get the specific colors on these specific regions so we can handpick and make this owl the ultimate looking owl. But that's a little ways off. That's uh, probably a long ways off. Let me show you some progress. Uh, we did a stream there the other day and uh, we built up this one right here. It's basically identical to that one. I just got to do the inside and get it all hooked up and everything. And then this morning, while I was just basically getting these owls breeding, I went over here and uh, I built another one of those. So yeah, we've, we've got a lot of stuff here. We've got a lot of buildings that we can actually do our breeding uh, things in all the time. I just need to get turrets and stuff set up in both of them and then the inside as well so once i do that they are ready to go and i could just like breed several creatures all at the same time which is going to be so handy but uh the way i've been doing this is that if i manage to get a uh have another melee mutation here an 11th melee stack what i'll do is i'll basically take that one throw it over there let it grow up and then pop in like stamina or health or whatever probably health because that one needs to go up a little bit as well but uh yeah, it's a really handy way of doing this stuff. That way I don't have to wait for things to grow up to continue the stack. But uh, yeah, we're going to head over to Genesis and we're going to make a go at taming up some Parasaurs. And uh, hopefully we don't die because the Lunar Biome is terrifying. I'm sure most people remember what happened to me in the Genesis series. I like to try and not think about it, but you know what? A giant meteor hit me and killed my Ferox and killed me and just ruined the day. So yeah, don't let that happen to you. Guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one, and I'll see you over there. Okay, so first I feel like we need to take out this Rex. It's only level 18, so I should be able to do this. I don't know. I feel like we could do this with just Poe, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. I also wanted to do one more thing. I wanted to head over to where the Broodmother is in the Redwoods and kill it with Poe here. Oh my god, look, a Wild Genonicus is helping me. Amazing. Thank you very much, Wild Genonicus. Very cool. All right, we're almost at a stam here, so we're going to drop. Although this thing's pretty bloody already. We need to kill these other Genonicus before things get bad. And also, they are alpha boosted. I wonder if the alpha boost on the Denonicus is making them stronger against him. Do you think? Whoa. What just happened? What? Okay, I guess we won't kill the Alpha Rex. All right, so I think Poe is fully healed from that little tiny battle with that Rex that wasn't really a battle. Let's see. I should be able to kill this Broodmother. And it's right there. And we definitely have... Yes, we do. Sweet. All right, let's drop down and kill this thing. It should be pretty easy to kill with my Denonicus because obviously we do the bleed that just takes percentage from it. So as you can see, we're doing 30k damage by not even hitting it right now because of that bleed. It's so good. I love it. All right, we got to watch out and make sure that we stop hitting it when it kind of gets low because I want to get that Dermis. I want to stock up on those things as much as possible. Okay, and also I want a really, really good piece of fur out of this thing. Oh my God, that actually hurt me a lot. Oh, wow. Uh, it's almost dead, but let's try and not get hit so much if I can. It is still bleeding down quite a lot. Ooh. Ow. Okay, Poe is looking a little bit hurt right now. This one's obviously much higher level than I fought yesterday. Woo. Okay. <laughs> uh, there we go. Do a couple of those and just run by. Okay, yeah, it's... Ooh, God. That almost hit me. All right, we got to watch out for the webbing. Oh, crap, it hit me. All right, we can we can jump away. Don't worry. All right, I might not actually get a Dermis from this one because if, if we want to kill it... Okay, no, I got it. I got it. We're good. Okay, sweet. I actually thought that if we wanted to kill it, we'd probably have to bite it a bunch just to get it to bleed more and more, but we're good. We got it. All right, come here. Give me your Dermis then. Oh, wait. 
Oh my god, guys, seriously, we need to stop getting this OP loot from these things. I mean, come on. Are you actually kidding me? This thing is broken. It's so good. I don't even understand why it gives you such good loot. Wow. All right. Yeah, again, did not spawn in that ghillie. I know it's really good, but I didn't, you know, I, I couldn't have done that. I promise. I promise. <laughs> so stupid. Why don't you just give something better, man? <laughs> Alrighty, so we are over here on Genesis and I had to dino wipe as soon as I got over here because we were having a bunch of regular uh, Non-tech creatures spawning in this area and there was a bug a few weeks ago. I think it got fixed uh, But there was a bug a few weeks ago that basically made it so no tech creature spawned So I guess that my server was still kind of bugged out with that. So yeah um, Anyway, dino wiped and hopefully we'll start seeing some power source and some stuff around here Anytime now uh, that would be great but uh, we're, we're looking for high levels because I want a high uh, health stat on, on the power source for this farm. The reason being is that creatures that have more health will yield more resources out of them. I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm 99% sure about that. So if I get really good level power source, then it's going to be really good for us. Anyway, let me see. I'm just seeing raptors and stegos right now. Maybe I need to go to a different area. Also, I did have to bring some health potions and some stuff because, you know, being in this biome is fun and everything, but unless you got really... I think maybe a rad suit is probably the best thing to wear, but if I walk into the sun at all, boom, instantly, like, dying of heat. And if I chuck on all my, my desert cloth armor here, I've got really good stuff. It doesn't really save me at all. Really doesn't at all. I mean, like, I think I've stopped dying, but I'm still super hot, so, yeah. Um... <laughs> I don't know this biome is, is really cool, but like we need like a tech suit or a rad suit or something Let's see. We got some raptors over here I think i'm just gonna maybe teleport to a different area because There's not really that many other creatures around here and oh my god This carcanos could jump for days. What? I'm like crooked on the saddle as well. Do you guys see that? What's happening here? <laughs> oh god, I did I just hit that thing? Wait, what? Oh, am I dying of like is my guy dying of radiation or something? I think he might be. Oh, and 194 right there. That's pretty good, actually. That's really good. I might grab that one. Oh, we've got one flying off there. Wait, a 28. Never mind. All right. It's going to, like, obviously fly back up. Don't worry. It's not going to, like, disappear or whatever. There's a lot of uh, tech creatures around here. So 194 is totally uh, in the realm of levels that I would like. So I'm going to grab that one. Which one is it, actually? Wait, what level are you? What level is this one? I need to know. Uh, Wait, I can't see it. Is it okay? Never mind. Let's just do this. It's a 28. All right, let's just kill that one. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, we've got Helena right there wanting me to say hello, and we've got some dudes up here that we need to grab. So, which one's the 194? Is it you? Yeah, it's you. Okay, so I need to kill that other one. Um, I don't know if there's an easy way for me to actually get up there because if I jump, it's gonna launch me way higher than I want to go. Um, Hmm. Like, the, the plan is to grab it and knock it out while it's in the Karkonos' claw. That's why I'm using a Karkonos up here. It just makes it easier. You know, if you can grab something with a Karkonos, you, you just kill it or, like, tame it while it's inside the claw. That's much better than, uh, than other ways. Let's just do a tiny little jump. Let's see if we can manage this one. Okay. Yeah, no. I think we're good. We just need to stop me from flying off. And then, yeah, we can, like, land right down here, kill the other one, and then tame that one. And then we'll be all good. Sweet. All right. So, 194. Pretty good. Uh, what level would that actually be, then? Hmm. I think that's probably, like, a 168. Just off the top of my head, I feel like it's something like that. Oh. Did I just see a meteor hitting or something? Something's, like, blowing up over there. I saw that. What was that? <laughs> Are meteors coming down? I don't see it. Oh, yeah, no, they're totally come down somewhere. Oh, no, why? We need to tame this. I need to tame this thing. Put you on passive. Uh, let's first of all kill this one. There we go. Um, all right, well, let me, let me try and get you knocked out then, bud. I don't see any meteors over here, so maybe it's just on that side. Oh, what are you doing? Stop it. Stop, stop eating. Okay, thank you. Hold still. There we go. Oh, that didn't count. All right, let me just hop off. This way it might register better. There we go. Okay, he is afraid and he's out. Sweet. All right, so it's basic kibble for these guys. Let's go ahead and just 
pick him up on my thing here. Just gotta wait a second. Uh, a bunch of my creatures are just showing up, and apparently we still have a Ferox taming from that Ferox video that we did. And also that's that barrier that we lost in the ocean, and that's my Carcanos. This, uh, this screen's a little bit buggy right now. <laughs> Alright, so we got, we got that guy. Um, I don't see any more power sores around here. Let me just do, like, a little bit of searching, though. It's a little bit easier just to get around on foot when there's not too many creatures. We got another power sore over here. Uh, we've got two of them, actually. 79 and 28. Wait, were you both males? Okay, no, that one was a female. Never mind. They're actually, like, the exact same, almost. All right, let's just take out these guys. Oh, we've got another one right here. It's like Power Source Central. Hello. Okay, 72. Let's kill you. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Here we go. Got that one. Okay, apparently I hit him in the tail. That just doesn't count, though. That's cool. Sweet. And I, I'm just going to hit them with a pickaxe. I know I could use my chainsaw. Actually, screw it. Let's just use the chainsaw. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. There we go. Lots and lots of stuff. I mean, it, it's a good amount extra, to be honest, but it's not amazing. There we go. If they had super high health, though, I'd definitely get a bunch. All right. So we got to avoid this little vent and go back over here. It's already almost a quarter of the way tamed, so five kibble apparently is what it's going to take. That's awesome. Now we just got to wait. And hello, little seeker. Please don't hurt me. There we go. We're good. I wasn't even afraid. Oh, we've got... Is that... Okay, that's a track. Never mind. <clears throat> Alright, so this power sword is probably going to tame... There we go. We got it. Nice. 290. Not bad. Not bad. Let's get out of here because we are now in the sun and burning and dying and I hate it. Alright, so... What one was that? That was a female, right? I tamed a female? Yeah, so we need a male. We need a high-level male. Okay. I'm going to go take a look. Hopefully we can find something. Maybe I'll teleport to a different area because I'm not really sure if there's very many uh, spots I can go to from here. Yeah, I might teleport up north or something. <gasps> That's another no 194. Let me go grab that. Oh, this is an awful spot though. Oh god, no. <laughs> I have too many of these guys around me right now. All right, let me let me see. What, wait, actually, what gender was that? I need to know. Wait, no, was it 194 or 130? I don't actually know right now. Is this it here? Is that you? That is you. And you're a male. Oh my god, no! They're gonna kill it! No! All right, we gotta watch our health here. Did they just kill it? No, 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 it's right there. It's right there. Okay, uh... Crap, we need to get down there. I can't go down any faster. <laughs> I think they just... It's, it's either about to die or it's just died. I'm not sure. No! Don't kill it, please! I need it! Ah, oh, come on, let me let me in there! <laughs> let me! Come on! Alright, alright, we're in! We need to just grab it and go! No! Gimme, give gimme! Give okay, we got it! I'm jumping! I don't know where I'm jumping to! We're jumping over here! <laughs> Is this it? This better be it! I better have grabbed the right one. Alright, I guess we're going this way. I don't know what's over here. Let's have a look at these other parasaurs, though, just because we got to make sure. Oh, no, no. That's the world border. Oh, wait, no. I think flying into the world border on this map is okay. Just on other maps, sometimes you can have, like, bad situations where it's just going to, like, delete your creature and your character because you go outside the world or whatever. Um, super annoying. This area is flooded with these guys. Look at them. They're everywhere. Like, everything's everywhere. All right. I need to take this thing to a different spot. But I need to maybe just keep my eyes peeled for better... Parasaurs, if there are any. Uh, probably not, though. I gotta protect this thing. No, no, we gotta, we gotta jump. We gotta jump again. I don't know where I'm going. I have no clue where we're going. I can't see what level that Parasaur there was. Alright, whatever. We're just gonna tame this one. 2194 is pretty good. Uh, I looked at the... Okay, wait. I need water. Yeah. Oh, crap. I didn't bring that much water with me. Ooh. Alright. I looked at the... Uh... Oh. Okay, there's, uh, I mean, they're coming up from below us, so we should be okay. The meteors are kind of scary, though. I don't like messing with them. Don't even like being around when that stuff is going on, because it also makes your game super framey. All right, we need to, we need to see what level these power stores are, potentially, because this one here is very hurt, and I'm not sure if I can tame it. Oh, get away. Leave me alone. Ah, uh, they're trying to take it from me. This is my food. 
All right. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, threw the level into the calculator and I figured out uh, the 194 is the equivalent of a 162 regular. So, yeah, pretty good, actually. Pretty freaking good. Maybe here could be a good spot. I need to get to some shade. There's some shade right there. Let me just check these guys, though, just because, you know, we kind of have to. Wait, that's another 194. Or am I looking at this one somehow? I don't think I could have been. I don't think I could have been. I'm pretty sure that we were looking at that one right there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me see. Uh, that's a 120. Yeah, 194 right there. I'm going for it. I'm just going to kill this one. All right, let me over there. Get away from me. Go, go away. Get off of me. <laughs> All right, if we jump, we're going to have a bad time, so we don't want to jump. It's that uh, orange one right there. I need to go for him. See, the other one was just too hurt, and I felt like if we tried to knock it out, I would probably end up killing it. So let me just grab you and uh, drop in a couple health potions because I'm super low on health. We need to get to some shade. There was some shade over here, right? Yeah, right over here is okay. Need to start healing here. This is awful. <laughs> All right, um, might need to just knock this thing up somewhere high or something like that. We need to get away from these other creatures is the main issue. And we've got a tech rex on us now, which I did not spot. All right, hang on. We got, I don't know what we're going to do here. We need to ditch these dudes, but I can't really jump anywhere. And we've also got to kill the attacked drone thingy on me. Um, all right, uh, I guess we can try and jump up there. They can't really follow me. Oh, get off of me. No, my parasaur. <sighs> Give it back. Stupid freaking Rex. Oh, man, this biome is fun, but it's not at the same time. <laughs> All right, I got you. I got you. This is like that that part in, in Endgame where, like, everybody's juggling the uh, Infinity Gauntlet trying to keep it safe, except it's just me. <laughs> oh. All right, you know what? I feel like we need to just drop this thing. Let me just kill this stupid attack drone. Get away from me. Why can't I not hit you? There we go. Got you. All right, we're good. Okay, I need to knock out the power sword. Let me, let me knock it out right here. Okay, I'm just going to hop off then. Because the game doesn't like me. All right, are we safe? Ah, come on. Don't give me that crap. That dart hit. Oh my God, please. Oh God, oh, I flew way too far. We're okay, we're okay. Let's just try and shoot at it though. That missed somehow, great. All right, hang on. Yes, that one hit. Why am I not getting headshots? Oh no, we got it down there. Sweet, all right, so five kibble again. Boom, and let me just move away from it so it stays safe. Oh my god. All right, so once that thing is tamed, we're just going to leave. Uh, we've got another parasaur here, although probably shouldn't even bother trying to check it. Let me just throw some of these creatures away. I can't kill a trike that way. So we got to do it this way. All right. Come on. There we go. Got you. Uh, probably got to kill that Rex on that defense unit thingy. All right, come here. Here we go. Got you. Let me just get rid of all these guys as well. Uh, what level is this thing? What level are you? I need to know. I can't see this way. All right, whatever. We're just going to kill it. If it's a super high level, I will just not care. Yeah, it was okay. It's only level 28. Come on. Let me land. There we go. Let me land. Stop shooting me up into the sky. I hate it. <laughs> Stupid trike. Die already. All right. We got it. We're good. We're good. We're okay. Got another few defense units here, unfortunately, though. Pump in these health potions. This biome is so dangerous when you don't have rad suits on. Rad suit is the only thing that keeps it safe in this biome, right? I'm pretty sure. Hey, we got it. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of this freaking dangerous biome. Come here, get into the ball. Get into the ball. There we go. We got you. All right, so we have two of them here, and they have the exact same health stat. That actually makes it a little bit easier for me. Cool. All righty. So, um, 
yeah, I think we're just gonna get the hell out of here then. Um, if I can find a mission terminal, I can just leave from this biome. That'll make it a little bit easier. Alrighty, so I have these things breeding over in my little breeding area. We're gonna need 12 females and one male. I'm not gonna use these guys in the farm, just in case. Never know what might happen. I might screw up and I wanna have these two as backups if I ever need them. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna breed them together, get all those guys, and uh, at the same time, we're gonna just wait here and maybe try to get some more owl mutations. Not looking for mutations on these guys as well, by the way. We just literally want... 12 plain power swords not even going to imprint them they don't need it and uh yeah then we're good to go all right so i've got a ton of power swords here and what i want to do is i want to kill all of them and harvest them with the therizino just to see how good it's actually gonna be i i reckon it's gonna be pretty good i don't know if it's the actual best creature for this job but uh i don't know i want to at least use one because it's got a pretty good aoe and it should be able to kill the babies relatively easily um okay so we've got a bunch of power swords killed Let's see, where's the Therizino? Um, there it is. Okay, so I actually also want to try and figure out which one of these attacks is the best one. Um, obviously, we've got a bunch of levels. Uh, I don't know what to level on you right now. Uh, let's go for weight, actually. You're probably going to need it eventually. Sweet. All right, so I don't know which one's the best one. Although, the Therizino would pick its own attack, though, so it would use this one. That's pretty good. Let me just hit all these guys and see what we get the most of. Oh, I've just realized. Oh, I'm an idiot. Damn it. All right, I should have done this. Ugh, why did I not think of that? I was literally thinking of that beforehand, and then I just didn't do it. All right, great. So let's, uh, I don't know. I don't know how many we chopped up. All right, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's just, uh, let's go ahead and just get through all these guys here and see what we can get. Okay, so obviously it's going to be killing babies, so it's not going to get this much per uh parasaur but that's pretty good that's pretty good obviously like a constant flow of babies it's gonna be like 12 babies all at once uh they're all gonna hatch at the same time and then the theory is gonna be able to kill them all um i reckon we're probably gonna have a really good farm here yeah i mean and it's pretty much balanced out for all the other resources except for element we've got more of that which is what we want we want more element because that's the hardest thing to get out of all this stuff um, so yeah, I'm, I'm actually really pleased with this. This is gonna be great. This is definitely gonna work out really, really well. Um, so yeah, let me just grab out all this stuff then. I guess we're just gonna put that somewhere, maybe? I don't know. I might just keep it in my inventory for the moment. Um, yeah, let me see. Alrighty, so what I've done, basically, is, uh, I actually decided to just chuck in this higher level female, trying to get, like, a perfect pair. I don't know, eventually we might want to actually breed these things, but I don't know if we will. Um, and then every single Parasaur ha that has... Uh, popped out has of course been let grow up and then I kill it at that point because you get more resources once they grow up Obviously with it being an automatic farm I can't have them grow up and then have them being killed. It just doesn't really work like that um, So yeah, also we got a uh, another melee mutation It came with a really nice color and then we also got after that wait Which one were you again? Oh crap. I don't even remember you're the health one, right? I don't know how many health ones we have now Okay, yeah, no, this is our 12th health one. I actually forgot to to name it. So, yeah, we got really lucky so far, actually, which is great. And then, obviously, yeah, I just slotted in the stamina one here. So, they're all almost balanced here. I need to get this one up another one. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to continue to try and breed out a bunch of these guys. And um, once I have a crap ton of 302s, then I will be ready to start up this farm properly. All right, well, this is an easy way of also just killing all the ones that I've left grown up. And... There we go. Now we just got to clean up this mess. So I've got a male and a female in there, 302, and they are just popping out the babies, and we're just going to get everything ready. And then we can finally get started. My god. Okay, so here is where I'm planning on building this thing. Uh, the building that you see in front of you is not going to be the official uh, shape or whatever. Um, it's definitely going to be the size, but um, I'm kind of trying to figure something out with the shape of it. And how it's gonna work i have some ideas but i'm not quite there with them and unfortunately right now it has started raining fantastic okay so uh here's what we need to do we need to uh no land up there please please land up here come on let me land right there there we go that's what i needed sweet all right so um what we need to do is we're gonna put the parasaurs facing their butts out that way um and then they're gonna poop the eggs right down through this area eventually what i might do is have a bunch of glass walls coming up and then just hide them 
but for the moment I, I haven't filled any of that in we've just got the bottom right there um so yeah we've got all that and then we're gonna have maybe the mail like floating maybe like a up here or something i don't know just like barely above this hole um we're gonna have the mail just like chilling there or maybe in the very center i'm not exactly sure just yet but uh yeah so he's gonna be able to breed with all of the females and hopefully we're gonna get a crap ton of egg production here um, and then, yeah, obviously the Therizino is just going to chill down in there on aggressive and we should be good to go. I, I'm thinking that this whole design right here is probably going to work out. So let me see. One thing that we're going to need to do is, you know what? Maybe we could have, we could probably have the, um, the, the male just chilling in the very center right here, actually. Let me see. Let me just do that. And then we could probably put him right here, I'd say. We should have enough room then for all the babies to pop off. Yeah. You know what? That would actually be okay. I was thinking of maybe having him float up above or something, but this is probably going to work out a little bit better. All right. So let me see. Where are all these parasaurs? Got them all right here. So they're all 302. And uh, then we've got the male right here. And I've got saddles for all of them. I don't know if I can carry all of them. I think I can actually. Yeah, just barely. All right, let's see. So I want to maybe like aim there and then throw down the ball. Hopefully this kind of like lands them in a good spot. Boom. Because I don't really want to try and back them up or place them like that way. Uh, I feel like just doing this would be a little bit better. Got to watch out for the tail swing. There we go. I'm pretty sure that they should be able to poop the eggs off the edge from where they are. Okay, that's not what I want right there. I don't want them hanging off the edge or anything. Because I'm afraid that they're somehow going to fall. Okay, let me see. Is that good? Let me just, like, back you up just a little bit before you do that. There we go. Is that okay? That should be okay. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's put the saddles on all of these dudes. So I'm going to get them all set up. And we're going to pop in the mail and just see if this all works. All right. I think they're all mating. It kind of looks like they are anyway. It's, it's really hard to tell. Um, let me just walk around the whole circle and just see... I feel like we got everybody. Yeah, we got them all. All right, sweet. So next up, the eggs are going to drop off. Hopefully, if they don't, I'm going to be super disappointed and we're going to have to figure something out. But hopefully they do. Let's quickly just pick that up. So yeah, all the eggs are going to drop off the edge. This one might, might need to be pushed back just a little bit. But I'm going to leave it there just for the moment. Uh, I got to pick up all the stuff off the owl. I had to pick it up. It was kind of in the way. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I can carry all that, right? Hell yeah. All right. So now we just got to wait for all these eggs to pop off. I'm going to stay up here and uh, hopefully every single one of them drops right down. This is very strange to look at. <laughs> oh, my God. It's actually kind of cool the way all of the uh, the parasaurs are like the identical colors. It looks really nice, actually. I like that. All right. Here we go. And do we get them all? Oh, that one over there, that one over here needs to be fixed. But, oh, I somehow managed to not move this one back. But I think, you know what? Yeah, this will work. This will totally work. I just need to move you back just a little bit. Um, There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I think what I want to do quickly is time it so I don't end up bashing into the tails. No! <laughs> that is not what I wanted to happen. Um... Yeah, I wanted to jump to the center one to turn off the male from mating and then turn it back on because I want all the eggs popping off at the same time. But now that one that was messed up is going to be a little bit messed up. Obviously, that's going to, you know, go away as soon as I deload this area and then reload it. But you know what? I just wanted to be a perfectionist. Did we get a mutation? We did. Look at that. Oh, you're going to be killed. Yeah, you are. Okay, let's see. So let's go ahead and just put this dude onto... Suppose we'll just put them onto aggressive and then ignore group whistles, right? Let's see. So then aggressive. There you go. All right. Do your thing. Just destroy all these parasaurs. Here you go. Get them all and then harvest them all, maybe. He will harvest them all, right? I think he will. Yeah, no, no. He won't harvest them. Okay. There's a good amount of time on them. So the likeliness of him not hitting these guys when he's going after the new babies is... You know what? I think we're probably going to be good. And that's how much we got from not even, like, half of the babies. Like, he's only harvested just a few of them here, as you can see. Yeah, like, actually, literally half of them are left. Okay. 
So this is what we got from six babies. There's another six to come. And uh, yeah, this is great. I mean, this is going to be such a handy farm. I'm just going to like obviously AFK inside of this building and just let it do its thing. I mean, I don't really have to do anything. You know, provided that I keep all these creatures fed and safe, then I don't have to do anything. Look at this. Oh my God, that's so cool looking. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I love it. This is great. I love these types of farms. I did have something like this before in the last cluster. It just wasn't as good. And I used raptors, which wasn't a good idea. I don't know why I used raptors. I think I just wanted a smaller creature to be able to fit it into the area. But realistically, what I should have done is gone big, which is what I want to kind of do here. I think maybe what we could do is we could actually increase the egg flow by doing another platform of that. You know, build it directly above, line them all up. That there is, you know, look like it was going to hit me line them all up and then just you know have those babies or those eggs drop down like the same kind of shaft i don't know i, I feel like this could work out let me see so yeah he's got a couple more to harvest up but look at that like i didn't have to do anything for any of this that is great and i actually already took the metal out a little bit but uh yeah this is fantastic i could just come over here whenever i need it and um and just like afk for some metal and some element and some other stuff Oh, this is going to be so good. So, yeah, we've obviously got a lot of work to do. We need to set up this full building and make it protected and, and make it good. What I want to do is I I want the building to kind of cap off in around there. And then I want there to be, like, the second bit up at the top here. And that's going to be where the eggs are going to pop down. Um, and I want that to be suspended by something. So that's what I'm kind of thinking of here. But I need, to, I need to do some more work on it. I need to figure out a better way of doing that. A less messy way i suppose um i don't know we'll figure something out though maybe we could use some dynamic pillars actually that would probably be a lot better yeah i might do that i might do that yeah i'm totally gonna do that Alrighty. well uh yeah i think guys that's probably gonna be it for today i've got a couple things that i can obviously do right now but not a whole lot else needs to go into this farm i just need to protect myself and keep myself safe in this area i forgot gasoline didn't i yep I do have a little bit, but, like, I didn't bring, like, a, a, a lot because, yeah. Um, so I guess I'm going to just put some in here and then fill this up later. Boom. There you go. <laughs> for my own personal stash. All right. There you go. And then, wait, let's let's wait for this next batch of babies to be harvested. Which attack is he doing? He's mainly just doing the claws, but he's occasionally doing the beak attack. The beak attack is actually going to give me more metal when he harvests with that. I've already tested that out, so let's see. Let's see if he gets all these babies. He's definitely eventually going to harvest them all. You know, there's a bunch of baby corpses just lying all over the place, but, you know, he'll get them eventually when more of them drop down. But yeah, look at that. I didn't have to do anything for any of this stuff. Like, I'm obviously very far off making one piece of element, but I, I still think it's pretty good. We can actually take the oil that we make from this and then make our own gas in here. We just need a way to get some hide. So, uh, yeah. I think that's going to be it for today. If you have enjoyed the video, guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. Uh, we're going to be working on this, obviously, a little bit more in the future. It needs to be flushed out. It maybe needs to be expanded to get more production going. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it either way. 